excellent music, little right? Country music from, made it. from Alabama. <laughs> Here in the South, we all know some of the best ingredients often come straight out of our own gardens. With a modern approach to living off the land, chef and author Trace Barnett is here to chat about his debut book, Tracing Roots. I love this. Trace, good morning. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me and happy pre Mother's Day. I know, it's yeah, coming we got up. got a perfect recipe for it that uh, will really impress mom. And a perfect gift right here, too. And a too, perfect I think. gift. Yeah, throw that on in there, too. You can't, can't have Mother's Day without giving your mom some tracing roots. Of course. Roots, so. Tell me about your backstory because I love that you grew up in Alabama. You were quick to leave, head to New York, but I, then you had then, a calling back. Yeah, you had to move back home. So I really needed the space. So I grew up in a small town, Brilliant, Alabama, population mm -hmm. 900. Mm -hmm. So if you need to learn about yourself, go up to the Dollar General and they'll tell you all about it. I bet. Um, but you know, I really <laughs> wanted to come back home and have my garden, um, and I can, and I have all kinds of a menagerie of chickens, pigs, you know, dogs, cats, everything. So I love came that. back home and, you know, pursued the modern approach to living off the land. So and here you, we are. And you've got a yummy recipe for I us do. here. Yeah, it's manchego cheese biscuits. And mm. it's so easy to make and it's so easy to tailor it to whatever crowd or, you know, whatever part of the season it's in. And this so, is your gra great grandmother's recipe. It is, yeah, with a little modern twist to it. So mm -hmm. we're going to add some manchego cheese and some chives. So what we have is two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. To that, we are going to add in um, a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking powder. Okay. I'm going to give that a stir and I'm going to go ahead and add in um, a couple tablespoons of fresh chives. And this is a fun tip. So chives are blooming right now and they look just like this. That's actually the chive right there? It is. Yeah, it actually matches you perfectly. But That's they terrible. have like a really good onion flavor. So if you would just rip a few of those petals okay. off and throw those directly into the batter. Okay. I'm going to add That's in our easy. manchego cheese. And I love manchego cheese because it has a really good, perfect, like nutty flavor. Yeah. And it is really good in baked breads and it has a really good melting point too, mm. which is great in biscuits. So to that, I'm going to add in buttermilk. And I'm going to add in three-fourths of a cup, but this is the big tip when you're making biscuits, and I learned this from my grandmother herself, is watch the batter. See how okay. it's just starting to come together? Mm -hmm. You may have to alter the amount of milk that you add in there. Good to know. Um, and if it's a little too runny, then you can always add in a little bit more um, flour to make that consistency good. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, cut in some butter, and I mm. usually use a good high-quality butter. Fold that Favorite in. Things. Butter, and, cheese, and butter, all of it. Butter, cheese, yeah. herbs, mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. And as you can see, the batter just comes together. And you want to take this, when it starts to just form like that, you know it's ready. Yeah. Put it on a floured surface, roll that out, and use a biscuit cutter. And we do have a final product here You have here the final already. product, yeah. And I love to top it with some fresh in-season tomatoes. It's just really beautiful. And you know what? If you really want to take it to the next level, why don't you go ahead and um, pair it with a nice tomato jam there tomato in the front. Tomato jam. Too. You're speaking yeah. my language. Okay, and I want to talk about this book, too, because I love what you did with you broke up the, the seasons in the South. I did. Seven seasons in, with cooking and gardening. I did, yeah. So, you know, the South, especially in Alabama, if you don't like the weather, then wait till the next day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can grow stuff all the way up until December, back where we're from, and here in Georgia, too. Yeah. Uh, so, the seven seasons makes it really tangible to kind of have on hand what produce is in season then, mm -hmm. what's not in season, and I think it's really helpful when you're trying to, like, source those ingredients or yeah. grow them to have them in their denoted season. And if you're starting off with a, start trying to get a garden started, I feel like this is the best book. I loved flipping through it. It yeah. is, yeah, and we have add-ins on gardening, beekeeping, raising chickens, foraging, canning, storing, drying, so a little bit of All everything. Of so even if you're not a cook, there's a little bit of everything in there. Like I said, a good Mother's Day gift. It is, the Trace, perfect. thank you. This is, I can't wait to try these. They look amazing. For more information on Trace or today's recipe, you can visit Fox 5 Atlanta, our website, and click on the viewer information story under the Good Day Atlanta tab. Thanks so much Thank for you being so here. much. Now let's check in on Paul. Hey, Paul.